So today I'm going to do something that I've never done before. One of my subscribers uh, presented me with a challenge. She said, I would like to send you 10 questions to see if you could answer them. And the questions are the most searched questions on Google in 2017. I haven't seen them. Um, I've got the email, I'll open it up right here. I have these questions and I'm gonna tackle them and see, <laughs> see how knowledgeable I am uh, with current events or whatever. I, I have no idea what the top, what, what the top uh, questions are, uh, but we'll tackle them one at a time here. All right, are you ready? Number one, what is DACA? DACA, DACA. I believe DACA has something to do with immigration or children or children that were born in this country to uh, Ill illegal aliens. I think so. Is that DARPA? DACA, DACA. I'd have to go with, it's got something to do with dreamers. Number two, what is Bitcoin? Bitcoin is a cryptocurrency, whatever that means. Bitcoin is a, um, uh, it's, it's a, um, <laughs> how do I explain it? I've never used it before. I, ha I have a grasp of what it is. Um, so there, Bitcoin is a, is a, a, a way, it's an, <laughs> it's so hard, hard to explain. <laughs> like it's, it's this nebulous thing I can't get my, Mind around. Okay, so it it was um, it, it's a it's a means of exchange uh, exchange. You can ex you can collect these bitcoins. You can mine these bitcoins. I've read of uh, places uh, in China, all over the world, that that have these ma massive computer networks that do nothing but mine bitcoins. There's there's a finite amount of them. Um, they can't really be manipulated like what um, what happens with a fiat system, like with the Federal Reserve and all of that. Um, and there seems to be a lot of up and downs with it, uh, their, their value, um, and whether that is legit or if it's, if it's under attack, I, you know, I just don't know. I, I mean, if I had to, if someone were to tell me today, uh, oh yeah, you, uh, you can uh, come p pick up this, uh, if you want to pick up this product, whatever it is, and I'll, I'll accept Bitcoins, I wouldn't even know where to begin. I, I, I don't have any Bitcoins, nor do I know where to get them, but I, I do have the vaguest idea of what they are. What is a solar eclipse? Well, we're told a solar eclipse is when the uh, sun and the moon and the earth are all in a line and the, mo the moon moves across and obscures the light from the sun, which causes the, you know, the, that halo effect that we saw, well, just, what was it, last summer. Uh, my friends at the Flat Earth Society would probably take issue with that, but um, I can't really speak for them. But that's, uh, as far as I understand it, that's what a solar eclipse is. Number four, what is Antifa? Antifa is a bunch of unemployed, neck-bearded, basement-dwelling fascists uh, who dress up in black um, and uh, want to tear down Western civilization, as far as I can tell. Um, no, seriously, Antifa is a, they, they certainly are a fascist group peppered with an anarchists uh, that are very much opposed to uh, conservative values of this country, traditional values of this country, certainly opposed to um, Republicans and our president, Donald Trump, um, and his policies. Um, and they are uh, largely made up of um, uh, a lot of disgruntled, unemployed uh, college students. There's, there, there's also a lot of radical college professors uh, that are amongst their ranks. Um, they're just the sort of people that uh, you don't want to have over for a dinner party. What is net neutrality? Net neutrality, as I understand it, is uh, legislation uh, that is being proposed uh, to protect um, anyone from getting special privileges on the internet. Um, I think that there are companies, um, I think the major players, I don't know, AT&T, Comcast, whatever, I, I really, I, I don't have a complete understanding of this. But from what I, what it, it seems to me what it is, is that it, um, they would like to have a pay to play where uh, people uh, could pay for better access or better or faster internet connections. And maybe the smaller people, uh, smaller channels uh, would be throttled or not have a prominent placement on the internet as those that would pay. There would be a, it would be a multi-tiered system is how I understand it. Um, yeah, that's about all I can contribute on that. What is Cov Fifi? C-O-V-F-E-F-E. I think that's the newest Starbucks drink that has like a um, hundred times more sugar than 
a can of Coke. What is the Antikythera, am I pronouncing that right, mechanism? Actually, I know what that is. That was an ancient, that was an ancient computer that was discovered, I believe, off the coast of Greece. Uh, that it was like it was like a calendar, and I believe it was made out of bronze. And it had something to do with uh, it. Pr it it uh, predicted the rotation of the planets, or something like that. It's. It, uh, I think it's an. It was an ancient Greek computer. What is a fidget spinner? Really, a fidget spinner is a was a toy that was really popular. I think I'm the only person on YouTube that didn't make a fidget spinner video. It was a toy that was really popular. It had uh, three sides on it, and you would pinch it with your fingers. It had a bearing in the middle, and you would spin it. Um, and it was it was it was a big fad um, last year, huge fad. I mean, it's all it's all there was on YouTube for several months. I I don't think uh, they were, they were even in every convenience store. I think Jack even had a couple of them. Um, uh, I, I don't think that they, I don't don't think that they're all that popular anymore. That's that's a fidget spinner. What is the Paris Agreement? Ah, the Paris Agreement was a uh, uh, it was in Paris. It was a uh, environmental uh, standard. Um, I don't know I don't know who proposed it, um, but I, I think the idea, how I understand it, was uh, all of the countries were going to come together uh, and try to clean up their act allegedly. Uh, to meet some sort of environmental standard. Um, uh, that was one of the first things uh, that uh, Donald, or President Trump, um, that he uh, took on on his administration, and he rejected it, walked away from it, uh, saying that this put an undue burden on American, America and was intended to stifle economic growth. And um, I, I think I, I agree with that. I, I think that um, a lot of these things are couched in well, it's going to be good for the environment. And who doesn't want to have clean air and, and clean water and, and uh, less pollution? Um, but what is really behind it? What is, that, what is couched inside of this feel-good movement? Uh, what I find typically see with these things is that they're, they're, force, they're, they're used as a hammer uh, to control countries and people. Um, and when you start to see that the same standards that America would have to live up to, um, and then you see other countries, i.e. China and India uh, and third world countries that have a separate standard or a more lax standard, meaning that it's not a level playing field. So the fact that uh, President Trump rejected that outright, uh, I think, was probably a good policy decision. So that's how, what I understand, uh, how I understand the Paris Agreement. And finally, number 10. What is a hurricane? Well, a hurricane is a, is a great big storm uh, that uh, develops uh, usually off the coast. Uh, a confluence of uh, warm and cold air mixing together causes uh, the swirling motion. Is now <laughs> I've actually never been in a hurricane uh, living in the Pacific Northwest inland. We don't have hurricanes here. I think they typically take place off the coast of uh, coastal areas. Uh, but I have seen the aftermath of a hurricane. I lived in Florida for a while, and I was there uh, only, I think, two weeks or so after Andrew came through, with, which Andrew was a, was a, from what I understand, was a big hurricane. So I drove down, all the way down through the Keys to Key West, uh, and the devastation was massive. There, was, uh, there were boats all over the place. There were aircraft tipped upside down in people's yards. There, were, there was massive, massive damage. So I went down to Key West, uh, and the, I, I, I've never seen a party. Uh, like I think they call them, we, people from Key West, they call them conks, right? I have never seen people party like those people down there. Budweiser, uh, in their wisdom, had brought a mobile beer truck down. It was like a big portable keg. And they uh, had a hurricane survivor party where they supplied free beer. You should have seen the carnage the next morning. I, I mean, it's warm in Florida, so if you do pass out in the in the street or on in, in someone's lawn or, or, or on a roof, uh, I saw that as well, uh, you, 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 you're probably gonna be okay because it's pretty warm at night. But that was, um, yeah, that was, that's what a hurricane is. It's a, uh, it's a, um, it's a big storm.
All right, well, thank you all for watching. If you appreciated the marginal answers, uh, please give a thumbs up for the video. If you would like to send me 10 difficult, difficult questions for a future video, um, go ahead and put those in the subject or contact me uh, and we'll, uh, maybe we can do this once a month or so. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next video.